Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. Alright guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I know, I'm tired of saying welcome back to the channel. We need a, we need a new start, Steve. We need one. <laughs> Anyways, we are uh, working on the, the Tahoe project still and we're actually uh, doing the front brake stuff right now. We waited on the parts, they came in finally and uh, Steve is doing some trimming on the factory spindles. I'm gonna let you guys kind of see what's going on here. There's actually a lot of metal that you have to take off those spindles with this uh, AZ Pro Performance brake kit. And uh, we're actually gonna test some different calipers out and see if they actually fit with the, um, the setup. Because basically, I'll show you guys. Basically right here, you see they're using almost looks like a Corvette or like an F-body, like a 98 through uh, 02 F-body front caliper. And those have the same bolt pattern as like say a brand new Corvette brake caliper. So we're gonna see if this new Corvette brake caliper works with the, I think it's 14 or 15 inch rotors, which I think that's what these are, stock. So um, if everything lines up, we can use the, the better calipers and not have to use those. So we're giving it a shot. Steve's over here cutting. nice having the Corvette brakes. Doing some cutting though right now. Um, as you can see, we had to take some metal off of this. Yeah, kinda, quite a bit. Kind of zoom in here. What's the what's yeah, the best so what's the best uh, method that you're using, Steve? They used to use a bandsaw, which that would probably be the best and cleanest. We don't have a bandsaw, so uh, cut off wheel and sawzall method is what we're doing. Yeah, it's working. Um, but yeah, so this rib here it mounts on the front. It uses the existing dust shield holes which we will have to drill and retap to a 7 16 bolt. And then basically you gotta take all this inner, this is where the factory caliper was, all the inner part, I already cut the ears off mm -hmm. uh, from here, but pretty much they tell you to take all this off. Wow. So the caliper will sit down in this pocket. You can kind of show them the picture they have here in the instructions, uh, help a little bit. But yeah, so this mounts on the front. So you have to trim this bridge down so it'll sit flat up against this boss. Okay. Uh, this is a 96, so it's a little bit different with the ABS spindle. The non-ABS spindle is backwards, so you don't have to t cut this web down. I think there's just a little webbing on the top that you have to trim down so this will sit flat. Cool. So it'll sit like that, and then the caliper will bolt to these. Oh, okay. I see that. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So, yeah. All just, right. Well, um, and then the only there is a little bit more cutting on the frame for the lowering um, kind of where the pocket is for the control arm you have to trim it out because the control arm can go so much higher oh, it can hit the frame yeah. and there's a crossbar support it can also touch with the show real quick So this piece right here, this bar can hit. Oh yeah. So they want you to trim this off. Okay. And then on this side, trim this up. I kind of made a scribe line to where I was going to oh, cut yeah. it. Oh yeah. Because I guess the arm can hit sit. I mean, we're doing the five inch drop, yeah. so it's probably going to have some angle on it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't have known that. I was looking to see which way the ball joint bolted in, either through the top or from the bottom. And, uh, Yep, and then you knock out your alignment tabs. Oh yeah. If it's ever been aligned, they're probably gone. But this one's probably they were never been alignment. aligned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang. So yeah, you just knock those out. They're behind the bolts. You have to take the bolt and the control arm completely out to do that. Um, the newer trucks have the plastic knockouts, as they call them, and you just those are easy. You just use a screwdriver. Cool. But we're almost there. Like it. Looking good. It is raining. You can yeah. hear it hitting the ceiling. We needed it. 
Oof. Nemo's in some good company right now. There we go. The final fit up. Got one of the spindles on and you can see all the cutting that we had to do on the spindle, but these are the mounts, caliper mounts that uh, come from AZ Pro Performance and these are also the hubs that come. It converts it over to a hub and not a spindle mount brake rotor. Uh, that's like the factory one, so this way we can slip the rotors on and off. Pretty nice little piece there. It's got the ABS gear in there, so that way the ABS is happy yeah we want that yep it's very important with this kit you have to you can either run one bolt or trim i was kind of going back and forth to see before i cut the dust shield but it uses three bolts and the one that you use up here is part of the shield and it just has a bolt and a nut so it's just one but it's pretty sturdy and it's yeah. not touching so yeah, that's, that's all you need cool yeah, it's pretty nice. I'm just kind of working on the shimming of the bracket to the center of the caliper because that's the all the adjustment that you have. You can't adjust the caliper slide. So just center it on the rotor. And then the other thing you have to cut is, for some reason, they want you to cut these ends off of this turnbuckle for some reason and shorten up the tie rod. Nice. So that'll be next. So we'll need a full alignment after this. <laughs> Everything's gonna be yeah, apart. It's gonna be <laughs> but leaving the ABS is nice that they put that ring on the back of the hub. So basically, guys, so, if you're listening to us, if you're planning on lowering your 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 uh, Tahoe in the driveway on a Sunday afternoon, it's probably not gonna happen. Uh, yep. This kit is so much more entailed than a say a kit like on a truck uh, that can typically mm -hmm. be done in a day. This yeah. is, we've been working on this for a while. Yeah, this much of a drop. Yeah, this much of a drop. If you want to, you could probably do a two inch drop spindle if oh, you just yeah. want a small drop. Yeah. But this is, this is probably about as low as you can go, right? For yeah. As, until air ride. Yeah. So, it'll be looking good. Yeah, it'll be looking nice. <laughs> One side all on, uh, we got it all tightened down. You guys can see what it looks like. We got the little hub grease covers there for the the hubs pro like prody like steven prody over there <laughs> we got one side dialed in yeah. so this one will be you a, can a see breeze. all the all the cutting yeah you those factory spindles it's a lot isn't it steven yeah and then once you do it all then you see why and you're like oh i didn't have to cut that much <laughs> yeah they want you to clearance all this for the bolt on the back side i see but it makes it a lot cleaner. Yeah, it does. Looks nice. But now it's lightweight. Probably took a pound off each side. There's what the hub looks like off. Nice little billet piece. Caliper there. Little cover. Pretty nice. Just do it doesn't look as pretty as the little shop kit, but this is about half the yeah. price. Yeah. And even the little shop ones, if you don't buy the Wilwood spindle, you got to yeah, cut those too. Yeah, you got to do all the cutting. So. Yep, I knew that. Sweet. All right, well, getting her dialed. Uh, oh, yeah. Basically, we get this stuff on, guys. We got to do some trimming, some more cutting, some more cutting back yeah. there for the drive shaft. Oh, yeah, the loop. Yeah, the loop. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we, we got that to rub. new brake lines <laughs> and bleed. Yep. Yeah, they, uh, I don't know if you saw that. They include the stainless, I think they're bear hoses. Oh, yeah, those are nice. Banjo style. Yeah, plenty long. This ain't, for the, this ain't for the Tahoe. No, that's for some Hellcat stuff. <laughs> and they give you the AN adapters. Oh, cool. Nice. So, that's nice. Yeah. And some, uh, some P clamps to hold them in place. Oh, did our suspension then, kit come with these? Yeah. Yeah, you got to run shorter ones. Ah. So they came with that. 
So we'll be stopping in no time. Can't wait to see the front end on the ground. Yeah, I can't either. It's gonna look nice. If it looks like the back, we're in business. We'll get it right where yeah, we want. Yeah, my these are easy to roll though. I mean, you can literally get a rubber mallet and just yeah. hit these. Yeah, the things. fender roller just gets like because it's square, it only gets yeah. a little bit. So you just kind of massage it. That double wall right here, mm. it just bends up nice and it does. This factory paint, it just it rolls with it. It doesn't really crack. No, it's a nice paint. At least from the other, other truck's experience. Yes. No, it'll be good. Cool. And the most talked about thing from the last video was this right here. Uh, the Chevy grill looks good. Uh, the GMC grill, I think, done up correctly, could look good as well. But there is absolutely zero difference between a GMC and a Chevy, guys. It is the same vehicle, all right? So if you want to convert your GMC over to a Chevrolet, go for it. It's literally a grill, lower grill, different headlight up up top, the bracket anyways. And uh, yeah, you got to buy a bow tie emblem. Other than that, that's all you got to do. No difference. There's no difference on any body part to convert it over to a Chevrolet. So if you don't like it, go buy your own. Do what you want to your own. This is my truck, so I'll do what I want. And I think that looks good. Clear corners, I'm I'm undecided on whether I like them or not. The the orange, I think, would kind of clash a little bit just because there's no other orange. I think tinted would kind of look weird because then it would just kind of dissolve this area. So I'm not sure what the solution is. Once we get it all on the ground, sometimes it all comes together. Once it's all yeah. sitting on the ground, you can kind of see the whole vibe of the truck. But uh, Maybe even a light smoke over the clear would be okay. That might be okay. I've thought about that too, Steven. It's a good idea. I like that on the new Corvettes where they got like the smoke clear tails. Yeah. They look good. Well, I agree. So we're getting after it, guys. We'll have this thing on the ground hopefully soon. Got the front wheels bolted on, make sure everything clears, and we're all good. Steve's uh, finishing up on this other one over here, running the brake lines and all that good stuff. ABS sensors out of the way. hitting the frame because it didn't cut it yet oh yeah so, that's true yeah i think it'll go down lower honestly in the front just a little yeah. bit nice. no not yet we got uh like almost an inch can you swing the rack out yeah see no, no drive shaft so it'll oh you're on, still on zero on the shocks too. Yeah, <laughs> got the got the rumpty dumpty. Looks pretty oh, good. Oh man, it's night and day from what it was. Looks pretty good. I'd like it. Yeah. Mountain Dewski? The Bartle Ski. Bartle. <laughs> the back. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, is there a way to like raise up the back like a half inch? That's what I would say. I would agree. Yeah, it would be a, a shorter shackle in the back for the lift. So we could go back up an inch. Shorter shackle. Yeah. You do gotta remember though, Curse, that tire is bigger 
on the back, the sidewall. The gap oh, yeah. between the wheel yeah. and the fenders. Are you can see it. Insane. It looks pretty level. Yeah. Yeah, you're level. right. Yeah, you're right. It's just the tires yeah, the difference. Yeah, the tire is the main difference. Yeah. Just the height of the tire. Yeah. But it, it's actually when you're looking at it, it's sitting pretty level. I mean, those, wheel, those wheels look really good on there. What's the tire? Set? A that's a 295 40 in the back, and that's like a 245 40 in the uh, front, I think. Yeah, it's a lot smaller than eights and tens. What? Elevens and twelves. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh. No, the the rears. <laughs> The rear is right, pretty eight wide. Eight and a half and ten and a half. Yeah, the, no, okay. I think the front was a nine and a half. It could be an eight and a half though. See so over here, you had to shorten up the tie rod ends. Yeah, you cut this little bit of the sleeve off and then three eighths of an inch off the end to the tie rod so they can close up a little bit more. Yeah, these, these arms really bring in everything, so that's why we have to shorten those up a little bit. And uh, it's something for clearance issues too, isn't it, they said? Yeah. But somebody commented that I think the angle may contact here. It's on the back, uh, so. okay. I don't know, we'll get it all done and down. We'll see what that maybe is. Maybe that guy never it. shortened his that was saying that his touched online. Yeah, maybe that was it, but. Yeah. If that was the case, we would have to do a little frame notch here for the tie rod. But. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how close it is. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't you just technically space this down? Yeah, you could get a... I don't know if there's like a bump steer tie rod in kit that's taller. Because uh -huh. it is on the bottom already. Yeah. Normally you flip them around Yeah. some cars. Looks good though. We'll see. You'll have it moderately stiff, so mm -hmm. probably won't have a whole lot of travel. But we'll know until we see it. We are have to trim these rear wheels to, uh, to fit these tires. They're a 295-40-20. So pretty big wheels, 10 and a half inch wide wheels too. This one was pretty close over here, so Steve's just massaging it a little bit. Give me a little bit more clearance. Rather not tear up a tire. Yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> Tires are hard to get. Yeah. All right, guys. Here is the OBS Tahoe Yukon project. Oh yes. This thing turned out absolutely just perfect. Exactly what I had envisioned in my head whenever we were putting it together up on the rack. Uh, originally we were just gonna do wheels. We were just gonna lower it and leave everything the same. Um, but we decided to, you know, do the disc brake conversion. We decided to take off all the chrome trim, all the moldings, put all new moldings on. We did the custom color matched emblems. We did the the front grill color matched bumpers. We converted over to the Chevy grill. We had the thing completely paint corrected, and uh, this is all original paint for the most part. Um, I mean, this color is just incredible, cleaned up. We got the back color match bumper on here. I want to get I'm gonna get rid of the rear uh, windshield wiper. We'll get rid of that. We got a little dent there. We need to get taken care of. But other than that, this thing is is completely perfect. It's just a really good driver. I was really worried how it's gonna drive with how low it is, but it, it actually drives better than the trucks. To be quite honest with you. So really happy with how this turned out, guys. This is not done though. This project is gonna continue. We're gonna start with uh, getting the powertrain parts coming for it, and we are gonna swap this thing over to a newer LT engine. We're gonna put force induction on there. It's gonna have a 10-speed automatic in it. And uh, we're gonna you know, do all the supporting mods, the fuel system, the headers, the cooling system, obviously make it look good under the hood. 
We'll be doing some powder coat and stuff. This is not gonna be a frame off build though. We are gonna leave the frame on this. It's in such good shape. We're just not even gonna mess with it. And this thing has some really cool uh, future plans that you all will find out later down the road. But uh, as of right now, it is looking good. Man, check out that green color, guys. Holy crap. That green just pops. Yeah. Guys, this is probably one of the best looking uh, OBS anything that we've had so far. I, I like the looks of this over the, the ZR, the ZL 1500 trucks. I mean, this thing just looks dynamite. Golly. And these wheels, I give, I give them a lot of crap because I call them China wells, but these wheels actually look so freaking good on here for the money, guys. I mean, you can get a set of these for like 1600 bucks and uh <laughs> it's just nuts so yep let me know what you guys think down in the comments really curious to see what you all think about it in the comments uh, i know a lot of you were hating on the chevy grill but it looks better it just really does we have the gmc one still sitting over there in case they want to get crazy and make it a gmc but i mean really it's just a grill so uh super happy with it though uh steven once again did a killer job uh putting this thing together um, basically I'm just, I'm just the man that's the designing it. You know, I, I, I pick out all the stuff, all the parts and Steve puts it together. So got a killer team here at killer performance and, uh, we're working on Nemo right now, guys. So, um, we'll have Nemo back running here pretty soon. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.